Yo what's good people, it's Jay Cactus, and in today's video, I'm gonna be flipping an Adele song into a drill track. She recently dropped her album 30, which sold almost a million copies in the first week, so just crazy numbers. Sample drills definitely the wave right now, and plus she's from the UK, so I feel like I had to do it. So I won't waste any more time with this one, I'll get straight into it. Alright, so the track that I'm gonna be sampling is one called Woman Like Me. I listened to the full album and I thought it was sick. There's a lot of piano in there. There's nothing really too dark. There wasn't anything where I instantly thought, yo, this could be a drill beat. This is the closest one I could find to what could be a drill beat. So yeah, I'm just gonna work out the BPM, chop the bit that I want, and then we'll go from there. When I'm trying to find the BPM, I just play this section with drums. I right click on the tempo, click tap, and then I just tap along with the drums. I'm gonna have to skip this part for copyright reasons, but yeah, that's how I'd usually do it. I'm just gonna chop roughly an eight bar loop from around this section. Don't think you quite understand. So her vocals come in just a little bit early, so I'm just trying to find that right chop. And yeah, I'm ready to chop this up, but I'm gonna chop it in Fruity Slicer. But before I do it, I wanna make this unique as a sample. So to do that, you wanna click up here and then click on make unique as sample. And then once you've saved it, you'll have the loop that you wanna chop in its own sample. So then when you bring it into Fruity slicer it's not going to try and chop up the intro and everything else after it you're just going to chop up this one eight bar loop so i've dragged it into fruity slicer i'm going to click on here click on beat i'm going to bring up the attack a little bit so there's no clicks the decay up a little bit too so yeah i could either chop it up this way or send it to the piano roll and then find some chops in there you quite you quite quite under you quite understand hey hey you quite understand hey hey of all hey so at this point, I'm just scrolling through, just looking for some chops that might sound right before. And then I need another one that's going to sound right after it. Something like that will work for now. And then I'm going to repeat this section. So it might sound a bit choppy and random right now. But once I've EQ'd it and filtered things out, then it will start to make sense. So this bit's pretty much repeating. And now in this section, I can switch up. Yeah, I think this will work. Have all you quite understand? Hey, so you not see just how good. So it's still following the lyrics, but just rearranging it. And I'm gonna bring the attack up a little bit more. Quite understand. Have all you quite and then try and pitch it up. You quite understand. Have maybe a bit more. You quite understand. Have all you mm, quite understand. This might be the sweet spot. Yeah, this actually Just sounds sick. You, you know, you I'm gonna add an EQ. Just take out some lows and some highs for now. And then I think maybe a chorus for this one. Just to give it a different vibe. Bring the mix level down a little bit. And then just tame some of the low mids here. So you can hear in the sample that her vocals are the main thing. There's a guitar in the background, but it's kind of quiet. So I want to figure out the chord progression or just layer it with a piano or something just to thicken it up. And I'll use a different one this time. I'll go with the giant in contact. But yeah, I need to work out the progression. So it's starting on G and then I'm repeating that anyway. So I think it's going to C sharp. I'm going to copy them and then build some chords. Just make the piano a bit softer. I'm going to invert these two though, I think. Just because we've got a G sharp here, so if I bring this G sharp down, it might sound better. Yeah, I like the way that sounds. And that one. Oh, you 
You know what? I actually sound sick with half time. I'm just gonna cut out some more lows though. This one actually sounds sick. Try reverse too. This might work if I blended the mix level though. So we've got the original one, and then the delayed one is reversed. All right, and because there's a guitar in the original sample, but it's kind of washed out with all the filtering, I'm gonna add my own. And I'm just gonna use the picked nylon one in contact. I'm gonna start by copying the chords from the piano. I'll get rid of the bass notes and maybe even bring it up an octave. So for the guitar, I decided to EQ to take out some of the lows. I added some chorus from Elements, some delay, and then some Valhalla Vintage Verb. And then this is what it will sound like with the piano and vocals. So same chords as the piano, but then some extra notes too. Alright cool, and the next thing that I'm adding is this violin that I found from Splice. I've just put it in tempo and pitched it up 100 cents so it's in G sharp minor. It might clash with the vocals a little bit, but I can sort that when I mix and arrange it. But it's just this last note that goes out. So this last section here, it must be in a harmonic minor scale or something because that last note just sounds weird. So I'm just going to make that unique and see if I can pitch it down or up until it sounds right. Not there. Maybe one more. That one sounds right. And I think once it's got some reverb on it, that gap will just disappear anyway. So I'm just doing one simple pattern with this counter snare and then I'm going to add a separate one to do more of the fast ones. Alright cool and then for the 8 way, as always I just want to follow the root notes, figure out the pattern and then figure out the slides. I'm hearing three here. Cool, I think I've got the first eight weight pattern. I just want to try something with the second count there as well. I was going to add another perk in this space, but I think if I just repeat this bit and then 
lower the velocity of each one, I'll get the same effect I was looking for. And then just pan them as well. Cool. I think that's going to be enough for the drums and effects. So as always, I'll mix it, arrange it, and then show you the outcome. All right, so I've pretty much finished mixing and arranging the beat. There might be a couple of changes that I want to make before I export it, but I'm going to show you what I've got so far. So in the intro, I just kept the sample and the piano. And then added this count snare here. And then we'll come straight into the verse for this one. Oh, it's gotta have that delayed drop. So that was a simplified eight weight pattern too. And then the full eight weight pattern comes in with a change to the end. And then just for variation. I just like to add those little breaks in the drums. is kind of a bridge. I just chopped out a few of the vocals again for variation. And then this is what I've got as a hook. I thought I needed a break from the vocal sample. So I kind of swapped the vocal for the violin. Just a longer pause in the drums. And then the rest of it, that's just the same as the first one. So I hope you liked the video and I hope you're feeling the beat. And if you want to learn more about sampling, I've just finished filming the sampling section from our course and I'm hoping to drop the course in the new year. I haven't set a date yet, but I'll definitely keep a lookout for it. The course is going to be huge. I'll go through everything like music theory, building melodies, melodic drill, dark UK drill, dark orchestral drill, mixing, sampling, just everything I know about music. So yeah, it's slowly getting there. There's just a few more parts that I need to finish filming and then I can start planning the release. But yo, once again, I appreciate you all for watching the video and I'll see you next time. Thank you.